Hey everyone, welcome back to part three of the Traeger Rebuild. Got some fun stuff coming for you. Stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, you guys can see I was able to get the black painted on there. And then I did a coat of a clear. It's not quite completely dry yet, but you get the gist of it. And I'm hoping some of these glare lines go away a little bit, but either way, it's going to turn out extremely nice. Um, wanted to start working on this grill gasket. Well, this is the stuff I showed you that you could buy on uh, Amazon, a little smoker gasket. I'm going to go ahead and start lining it around here. And then I'm going to have to adjust these, these here, to be able to make the lid so it'll shut on that thickness. So here we go. All right, I'm back in the garage. It's getting a little too hot out there. There we go. Looking much cleaner. Check this out. Rust gone. Woo. Same with back here. All that rust is gone. Now it's still a little wet, but it's uh, not really. I mean, it's 112 today, so I'm not afraid to touch stuff. But uh, I'm going to get into the build. Here we go. So, my original concern on this seal came true. So, if you look here, see it's nice and flush up there. I got a gap down here at the bottom. No gappy gap, that ain't no good. Well, unless you're racing. If you're racing, then honk three times to get gap. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get some longer screws for the top of that, put a couple more washers in, and I'll get that little issue fixed. All right, everyone. Uh, it was a hot one today. It was fun to get that, uh, this thing wrapped up, but um, got it all done. And I'm going to show you the final product right now. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button, tell your buddies about it. This thing's uh, definitely a one of a kind now. And if you uh, get a hankering to do something different, try it yourself. But I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. Thank you, we'll see you next time.